This is a BCM with a CPU of SPC5605. Uh, in the previous video, I made a video of how to program this device uh, with the JTAG method. And uh, some people said it does not work. Uh, in the, that video, I used the power supply, uh, power supply direct to this uh, pin here with the 3.3 volt and the ground. And uh, in my setup, it works, but some people say it does not work. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this 12 volt from here and with the combination of the uh, this clip to access the JTAG port here directly. So first I made a, a jig here so I can connect to the 12 volt regular, use those two uh, connectors. One is here, here the black wire is the ground, uh, the uh, red wire is the power supply, oh, it's a 12 volt. So I connect two of them and I'm using the regular uh, PC 12 volt output and I'm uh, connecting here with the clip but I use the paper just to make sure they do not touch each other when I do the programming. Okay, uh, this is the clip I purchased from the AliExpress for about $20 and in here there are 1.27 millimeter uh, spacing pogo pins, two rows with five uh, pins on each row. And this is a perfect setup for the, uh, the BC, uh, BCM here, the, the JTAG pins. Now on the JTAG side, he, on the top here, the power, then the TMS and TCK, TDO, TDI. This is the exact same pin out as the Unicant T other than the power. Uh, in the Unicant T, this pin is ground and that's pin the, the is power. So in this board, on this board, this pin is the ground. Okay, uh, here is the color they came with and I follow the diagram. So this pin is the same pin out as this here. So in here, the power is the, the yellow one and the TMS is the green and blue and that. Now one, another issue I found was if I were just using the setup like normally we do, there is a watchdog, so we cannot get consistent read. So you can read this time and then next time it doesn't work. So what I found is uh, the trick is to short the power and the reset pin. Reset pin is, which is the, the second pin on the right here. And uh, I do some protection. I put it in 150 ohm resistor between the 3.3 volt and the, uh, the reset pin. So the reset pin and 3.3 volt does not connect to the Union T. So in the Union T here, only have the uh, the bottom five, half, uh, pin, five pins connected, the TDI, TDO, TCK, and TMS, and the ground. So ground is the orange. So I'm going to, um, uh, the clip it has a spring here. I'm using this weaker spring and it works well. So if you find it's not working, you, they provide a second, much more stronger spring to clip on. So because there is no jig, the, the uh, clamp is a little bit weak. So you need to be careful. Don't, don't touch it very hard. So I'm going to look carefully. Okay, here is the setup. Just make sure the one set is up. Don't try to move the board because it's quite weak. And even the cable come with, it. don't try to wiggle too much. I'm going to plug in the, the USB hub and I power on, then power on the PC power supply. And then let's go to the software. We can detect and we see we have a good detect. So now let's read the C flash and let's verify the C flash. And now we can send, save the C flash. And we can go to the, the D flash and verify the D flash as well. So I'm going to save the D flash. And just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to do some programming on this device, but for the other two with this, 5606 and 5607, 
I'm not going to do the program. Okay, so I'm going to erase the D flash. And then I can erase the C flash. Let's blank the C flash as well as the D flash. They are empty, so I'm going to write the D flash first, right? And then I'm going to write the C flash. Okay, now I have erased and reprogrammed this uh, BCM. So now I'm going to use another board, which has the 5606. It's the double size, the flash size of this board. So power off. Let's remove the cable here. Uh, the benefit of this setup is quite easy. You know, you don't need to do any soldering and you can replace the another board quite easily. So I'm going to take off the power board here. Now this board is the another BCM, but the CPU is SPC5606. And the layout is almost identical, but I'm going to show the setup also works. So the same power connector is here. So I'm going to connect the left side. And then the right side. Uh, same jig here, the same uh, resistor to short the voltage and uh, power and the ground, uh, the, the reset. Then I'm going to connect. The, when you do make the, the connect here, make sure they don't touch each other. Uh, it needs to be carefully inspected. Okay, so plug in the union can T and then power on. Now for the software, you need to select the 5006, 5606, and then we can hit detect. You see the detect, and then we can read the, the C flash and verify the C flash. It's good. And we can also do, read, read the D flash and verify. So now we can save the D flash as well as the C flash. And if you look at this, this is the double size of the flash than the uh, 5605. And if you look at the MCECU here, this says 5606. So now I'm going to set up uh, the 5607. Okay, so unplug here. Power off, remove the JTAG port, unplug it. So this is another BCM, but the CPU is SPC5607. And if you open the board, you can see very similar layout. The difference is this chip now is, this chip, main chip is the 5607, uh, which is double the size of 5606. So I'm going to connect the power, make sure they do not touch each other. And with the same clip here, 
I'm going to connect to this board. Okay, plugging the Unink NT to the USB. Power on. I'm going to select the 5607. And if I detect it, you can see the MCU ID is 5607. I'm going to read the C flash first and verify it. We do have a good read. Uh, we can save it. And then we have D flash, read, verify, and save it. So in this video, we have showed the another way to program this BCM uh, using the JTAG method with the uh, this clip. I highly suggest if you do a lot of programming, this clip is a must have and it's really speed up your working process. And the only catch is you just need to a short wire or put a resistor or direct short wire, the, uh, this black wire and the yellow wire, which is the equivalent to short uh, the reset pin.